I'm Jason Schweitzer, and you're watching Bowen TV. Have you ever felt like punching a clown on the nose? They get right in your face. They invade your privacy, like poking their greasy noses inside your area of concentration. They don't allow you anything. They strip you of your ability to observe. They repel me. In fact, they shrink me. Until recently, I didn't consider clowns one way or the other. Sure, I thought, all the pranks clowns play are pretty old and not really funny anymore. Maybe something that a lot of people grow out of, like Santa Claus. Circus clowns, for example. They ride around in their stupid little cars and squirt people with their stupid lapel flowers. But is that something that really deserves my hatred? But now that I've really given the subject some serious thoughts, I think I could hate a clown, if I really concentrated on it. If I didn't already know that behind the clown's face, it's just a person in hiding. I just hate the clown. However, what bothers me is, I could just as easily hate the person inside the clown. Sure, they ultimately do good. Like some clowns may visit pediatric wards at some hospitals. In the final analysis, are they really helping? I mean, when I was a kid, I thought clowns were scary. There's no way I would want a clown to visit me when I was sick in hospital. There will be no escape. I think it would exasperate my condition. And don't forget, the clown is, after all, just a facade. Something for someone to hide behind. So that when a person such as myself has to put up with some clown, I don't get to deal with the real perpetrator. Why? Because there is this societal acceptance of clowns. And the notion that they are funny and harmless, when really, what do we know about that person inside the clown? That goes for a lot of people. Sports, mascots, characters of Disneyland, superheroes, mamas and black sheep Morris dancers, people who dress up at Halloween, yes, even the aforementioned Santa. I'm not prepared to hate a lot of these people, but I do think that having to deal with people who are compelled to perform in order to hide their true feelings or intentions or to be someone who they are not, could benefit or suffer from a little bit of my contempt. Another subspecies belonging to the clown family is the silent clown, or mime. Mimes are just human emoticons with their silly smiley and frowny faces and should have their ass kicked on a regular basis. Most clowns and mimes I find creepy. They act like superior aliens. They should be taken down a peg or two. For the most part, they are a hideous blemish on the backside of humanity. They are a heavily grease-painted hell spawn. Get them out of my face. I'm Mr. Anonymous. Thanks for looking in.